The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I'm the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Today's topic is Member Tools and Reports. So we're going to show you a bunch of things in BNI Connect that you may or may not have known existed before. So we're going to show you how you can get all the email addresses for the members of your chapter for all those uh, communications that you need to do all the time. Uh, we're going to show you how to get into some of the reports in the system that can give you a very in-depth analysis of your membership and show you some tools for things like inviting visitors. This is a live webinar. So what that means is that you are welcome to please ask questions as we're going through the content today. The content is scheduled for about 30 minutes for this presentation, um, although I am always happy to stay on these webinars and calls. For as long as you guys have questions, I will stay here until every question is answered. This webinar is being recorded. Uh, once it is done and has been processed, we upload them to our YouTube channel. You can find that YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. Up here, you'll find our entire collection of videos. Uh, we have close to 100, I think, videos up here on all sorts of topics, um, ranging from today's. We have previous copies of today's uh, topic for member tools and reports to how to pass online slips to special messages from Dr. Meisner. You can also find our webinars once you've logged into BNI Connect into the Members Only section. If you click on this question mark in the upper right-hand corner, that will take you to our support page. And on our support page, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a training section. In here, you'll find documentation on all of the different functions within BNI Connect, as well as previously recorded webinars. So for example, if you wanted to watch one of May's recorded webinars, you could click here. And they all link back to our YouTube channel, but you can see them all here in one place if you'd like to review them. So let's talk about member tools and reports within BNI Connect. And what I'm going to do is go through a couple of different areas in the system to show you um, different things that you can do in BNI Connect. The first thing that I'll tell you is that one thing that you definitely want to do right away when you get into BNI Connect is to make sure that your profile is updated. Um, and the reason for that is as you're accessing different areas of the system, especially when you're going out and making connections with other people, and when people are looking up your information, you do want to make sure that you put forward you know, basically your best foot forward, your best face to the rest of the world. There's about 150,000 members in BNI, and we're all looking to pass referrals all the time. So make sure that you have your information updated and up there. The way to do that is to first click on the My Account button here in the upper right-hand corner. That will take you into the place where you can update all of your information. So once I click on My Account, this will take us to all of the edit screens for your information. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because we have a whole webinar dedicated just to this information. But you'll see that it's broken into tabs, and that's where you enter all the information. So the first tab is basically your business description, your company name, your name, and the keywords. Uh, the keywords are important because as people are searching for you, that is how they're going to find you when they don't know your name. So make sure you have some good keywords in there. The second tab is where you can upload your photo and your company logo. You can also change your question and answer if you ever lose your password. You can even change your password and your username. The next tab has all of your contact details on it. So your name, address, phone number, email address, website, social media networking links, as well as your physical address. The next tab has your account settings, so which of this information are you sharing with different people. And then finally, the bio section. And this is where you fill out your bio, your commercials, your games profile, and your tops profile. So let's take a look at some of the things you can do now that you've filled out your profile. Going back to the home screen, the place You'll notice along the top that we have a bunch of different menu options. So you can see up here, we have the home. That'll always take you back to this home screen. Network, 
which is all of the different social media functions within BNI Connect or all the different networking opportunities, operations, reports, tools, and admin. Now, depending on your level of access, I know we have some directors on the call with us today, we have some executive directors, we have some members, but depending on your level of access, you'll have some or all of these different menu items. The ones we're going to concentrate on today are the ones that are operations and reports. Now, operations are things that you can do in the system, so usually a function. Reports are getting the data back out of the system. Let's take a look at operations first. So the place I'm going to have you go is operations chapter. Now these are all the different chapter level functions. Now again, depending on your level of access, you may or may not have all of these options on here. But the ones that I'm going to focus on today, everybody should have access to. If we take a look at the bottom, there's create email. And this is the first thing that I want to show you today. When we click on there, you notice you have three options. You have email my chapter, email visitor invitation, and email chapter visitors. The email my chapter function is one of the most useful tools that I've come across as a member. And the reason for that is a lot of times we need to get in touch with all of the other members in our chapter. Now before BNI Connect, what I always used to have to do was to basically go through my email program, find the last group email that was sent out, and probably just hit reply all and hope that it got to everybody. Unfortunately, using that method, there were new members that just came on board that weren't yet in that distribution list. There were members that had left the system that were still getting all these emails and then emailing back, stop emailing me. Email My Chapter helps to solve that. You click on Email My Chapter, and what this does is pulls up an email distribution list of all of the members of your chapter. So what you do is you just highlight these all, or if you'd like to, click in here and press Control A for Select All, and that will select all of them. Hit Control C for Copy, or right click and choose Copy, and then start a new email program in whatever email program you use. So I happen to use Microsoft Outlook, so I would just take these email addresses and paste them into Microsoft Outlook. I could then type my message and hit send, and all of the people in my chapter would get that email. So we, we do have a comment here from Wes. He says, I only have Manage Goals. So the only thing you're seeing right now is this Manage Goals function. So if these other options aren't available to you, um, one of the great things about BNI Connect is that it is highly customizable, uh, which means that regions can decide which tools different positions have. So that's definitely something, if, if something that I show you today is not available on your menu items here, Please go have a, have a talk with your chapter director consultant or your executive director and let them know, hey, I'd really like to be able to use this function and ask them about turning that on for your particular account. Does that help, Wes? Excellent. So that's how to email your chapter. Just click Email My Chapter, grab all of these addresses, choose copy and paste them into a new email message. Now the third one on here is email chapter visitors. And that is essentially the same function but for your chapter visitors, so people that have come to visit your chapter. Why would this be helpful? Well, if you ever have a stack day or let's say that you're a visitor host or you're just somebody in your chapter that would like to follow up with all of your visitors or maybe invite them all back to another meeting again for that stack day or a visitors day that you're doing, you can get all of the visitors email addresses the same way by clicking email chapter visitors. Now with this it gives you a couple of more selections. So you can choose a range of time. So let's say you just like to get all of the chapters, all of the um, visitors that have come to your chapter in the past month. You could do that by just selecting the date and let's say you're going to go back to the first of May through today. Let's say you want to go back in history to when you want to get the last year's worth of visitors. 
you could do that as well. Now, if you're doing a stack day, let's say that you're inviting just a particular category to your, to your chapter, you could go through and choose just a certain category or even a specific profession. Once you click Next, again, this will pull up your list of visitor email addresses. Now, the nice thing about this is that if any visitors had become members, they will be excluded from this list. So as long as your visitor database is kept up to date, you can just copy this and send this out to your visitors to invite them back to your chapter meeting. So those two are email lists that you can get from the system to communicate outbound with people. This middle option here, email visitor invitation. And personally, I love this one because it is a great way to send out a quick invitation to somebody to come and visit your chapter. Now, before BNI Connect, what we'd have to do is, you know, get all creative with an email and try to explain what BNI is to people and then type in, okay, well, to get there, you're going to go to this address and this date and this time. What you can do is send out, this is basically a custom email invitation to send to visitors. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to click on email visitor invitation. And I'm going to type in some basic information. So let's say I'm going to invite John Doe to the chapter from Doe Industries. And I put in their email address. Now, if you'd like to try this out, you can go ahead and put your own email address in here. Uh, you can see what it looks like and how it operates. This doesn't go into any kind of a database or anything like that. It's just a templated email invitation that goes out. Now you can put your own personal message in here, and this will show up as the first paragraph of the email. So maybe I was out at a networking event with the Chamber of Commerce this, meet, this week, and I met somebody that I'd like to invite to my chapter meeting. I could type in, oh, it was great to see you at the Chamber event. I look forward to you visiting my BNI chapter. And then I click Send. Now what this is going to do is it takes all of this information and basically mail merges it into an email. And it goes out immediately. So this is, I just received this a few seconds ago. And this is the email that gets sent out. Now the great thing is, is that it has more information than you have to type in there. So it has a nice BNI graphic, a branded logo and image up at the top. And it has Dear John and then your personal message. So it had, it was great to see you at the Chamber event. I look forward to you visiting my chapter. And then it has my chapter's name, my chapter's address, what day we meet, and what time we meet. Then it has a little bit of information about BNI and what BNI is all about, so you don't have to make that all up. And it has a call to action to please RSVP with you and to come and visit the chapter. And it is signed by you. If they reply to this email, it will also go back to you. So that's a visitor invitation. And we have another comment from from Angel Pedraza, and Angel says, the only thing in my operations just shows chapter. So again, if you're missing some of these functions, especially this create email function, uh, definitely talk with your chapter director consultant or your executive director for your region, and they'll be able to either tell you why it's not included or they'll be able to turn that function on for you. So hopefully that helps, Angel. All right, the rest of the things under the operations menu are mostly position specific, so for entering POMS reports and inputting speakers. Uh, so I'm not going to touch on those today. Let's take a look at some of the reports in the system. So we can do that by going to reports, chapter, and Angel says hope so. And Angel, if you're struggling with that, um, do you, you're welcome to contact me in support 
offline, you can always send an email to support at bniconnect.com. So support at bniconnect.com, and we'd be happy to help you out as, well, as much as we can anyway. All right, so let's take a look at some of these reports. And this is really where we can get more information out of the system. It also helps with things, I'll show you in a minute, doing the gains exchange before you have a one-to-one -one meeting. So the first thing, I'm not going to go through all of these reports. You can always go through and click through them. But I'm going to highlight about four or five of the ones uh, that I feel are really important from a member standpoint. And I am a member of BNI. I'm a member here in the Rhode Island region where I've been a member for 11 years now. The first one is pretty straightforward, but this is the chapter roster report. And you probably know all the people in your chapter already, but this is a great way to have a quick address list, um, or name and phone number list anyway. If I click Go, this will pull up the report. Now, what I like about this report is at the bottom, it does have your chapter roster. So it does have all of the people listed, it has all of their classifications, so what their in BNI, what their category is, their company name, and their phone number. It also shows a very brief snapshot, the last 90 days of the POMS report. So it's a good quick glimpse information. But what's also good is that it, at the top of the report, it lists out all of the leadership for your chapter. So if you're have a great idea for an educational moment, and you're not sure who the educational coordinator is, you can pull up this report and find out who your educational coordinator is. If you need to talk to somebody on the membership committee, you can pull up this report and you can see the different members of the membership committee with phone numbers that you can get in touch with them. And um, you know, Angel and Wes, if you'd like to talk with your chapter director consultant and you're not sure what, how to get in touch with them, Pull up this report and you'll be able to see who your director consultant is, what their phone number is, as well as if you have an area director consultant, those are the first people to talk to if you're having some type of an issue. Going down the list, uh, skipping a few, the next report that I feel is really important is the meeting notes report. Now the meeting notes report is a very simple report. What it's designed to do is to allow you to take notes during your chapter meeting. And one of the best ways to increase the referrals that you're able to give is to pay attention when people are giving their 60-second presentations, then to be able to have something to reference during the week to say, oh yeah, you know, that's what they asked for. Especially if you're in a larger chapter of 30, 40, 50, 60 members, uh, sometimes it that's a lot of 60-second presentations to listen to. That's what this report is great for. And it's really meant for you to be able to open up and print out and take with you to your meeting. So if I click Go, again, it's a very simple report. It's just all of the members listed, as well as all of the company names and a place to take notes. Now, you can sort this different ways. On any of these reports, you'll notice that there's some fields that are underlined. So here it's the first, last, and company name. So if I find it easier to keep track of people by their first name, I can click Sort First. And clicking it multiple times will sort it alphabetically A to Z or then Z to A. And I can sort that by first name. Same thing for last name or company name. Now the other thing about reports in the system is you'll notice a couple of options up here in the upper right-hand corner. Reports can be printed. So that'll just print it on your local printer. Depending on what browser you're using and what kind of printer you have, you'll have different options available. You can either print it in portrait or landscape, for example. But one of the powerful things that you can do is that you can also export all of these reports to Excel. Now, there's two options for doing that. There's export and export without headers. And what the difference is is really in how it's going to be formatted in Excel. Now when you export it with headers, or just the regular export button, it's going to include all this information up here at the top. So who ran it, when it was run, all of this you know, header information within, the, within this particular report. 
export without headers will exclude all of this information and just include the data at the bottom. You know, most of the time, personally, I like to use the export without headers because it also means that they line up better without merged cells and things like that. The meeting notes report is a great one to be able to pull into Excel to be able to format it the way you want it to be formatted. So if I click export without headers, you'll see down here it downloaded for me and I'm going to open it up. Excel tells me, are you sure you want to open it? Yes. And I'm going to make sure I click enable editing. And we can see now I have an Excel spreadsheet with all this information in it. Now there's a lot of chapters that already do this. They already pass out some type of a form to write on. Well, that can take your whoever the coordinator is for that quite some time to keep it updated. This is a great way to just be able to quickly grab all the names and companies and then format it. You know, personally, I'd like to go in here. I'll do a quick format as a table, pick a color scheme that I like, and then I can sort this any way I want to. Let's say I'd like to make these columns a little bit bigger. I want to make this notes column a little bit bigger. Maybe I'd like to have a little bit more space to be able to keep notes. I can do that, all with just a couple of clicks, and then be able to print this, force it to sit on one sheet if I'd like to. Um, but with just a couple of clicks, have a nice place, even keep it electronically if I'd like to, to be able to take notes during that particular meeting. The next report on the list is the Summary POMS report. And this is really the, the meat and potatoes of BNI stats. So this will show you all of your chapter's activity over any period of time that you'd like to choose. So by default, it's going to choose the last completed six months. You can change this to whatever you'd like. So if I'd like to go back five years and see what the the activity is for the last five years, I can do that. Let's say I'd just like to do one month, I can do that as well. So I can go from you know, May 2013, May 1st, 2013 to May 31st, 2013. You can do that as well. Once you click Go, it will pull up all those statistics. So for those of you that may not know what all these acronyms are, POMS stands for present, absent, late, medical, and substitute. RGI and RGO are referrals given inside and referrals given outside. Now the difference between those and inside referral means that the business basically stayed within the chapter, on the inside of the chapter. So it's when one member refers themselves to another member of the chapter. So for example, in my chapter here, if I referred myself to Helen Andromalos, that's our printer in our chapter, that would be an inside referral or a tier one referral. An RGO, an outside referral, means that I referred Helen to anybody else that I know. So someone outside of our chapter, someone else, so maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a client, um, I referred that person to Helen, so an outside or a tier two referral. The same thing with the RRI and RRO, referral received inside and referral received outside. So RRI, someone re referred themselves themselves to me, or RRO, someone referred one of their contacts to me. V stands for visitors, the number of visitors that you've brought to the chapter in that time period. And one-to-ones is obviously one-to-ones. TYFCB is the thank you for closed business. So that's when somebody else thanks you for business that you generated for them. And CEUs is the chapter education units. And again, this report can be exported if you'd like to go through and do some analytics on it. You can make some graphs and charts and all sorts of things with Microsoft Excel just by exporting or exporting without headers. One other thing I should mention is that depending on the time frame that you choose for this particular report, so this report I only chose to go for one month. Let's say that I did a report for 10 years. 
what you will see in this list is all of the people that have stats during that time. So you may find that there's people that you don't recognize in the list, and that's because they do have stats for that time period that you chose. The next report I wanted to show you is a couple down, and this is the classifications not in chapter report. Now, this is a great report for trying to figure out who you could possibly invite to your chapter meeting as a guest and possibly as a potential member. What this report will show you is all of the people that you're missing in your chapter, but it'll also show you which of those positions are represented in other chapters. So if I click Go, what this report shows me is all of the positions that my chapter doesn't have but that are represented in other chapters in the region. Now, why is this a useful piece of information? So, for example, we have a plumber here. We do not have a plumber in our chapter. However, there are 10 other chapters, and our region has about 20 chapters altogether, but there's about 10 other chapters that do not have, that already have a plumber. That's great because it shows us that it's successful in other chapters, and we're also not competing with all of the other chapters in the area for this position. Where this also is helpful is I can go to one of these other chapters and say, hey, I realize that you guys have a plumber. If a plumber comes to visit, can you please send them to our chapter? So there's a better chance of them joining your chapter, and you also can point to the success of all of the other plumbers in the area. And this list goes on and on. There's about 400 different categories in BNI Connect. So if you ever think that you've run out of people to invite, you can always come back to this list for some ideas of who to invite to your chapter. Now scrolling down a little bit, one of my other favorite reports is the Personal Palms Report. And why this report is great is because it can show you your week-to-week -week activity within the chapter, both for you or any other member of your chapter. So, for example, if I pull my own name out of this list, I can go back to my entire history in BNI. Maybe I want to go back to 2005 through today. So that would be for the last you know, eight years or so. And click Go. And I can follow week by week exactly what I did in my chapter. So this is a great report for, especially if you're a, a, a graphical analysis type person, you could actually take this report and export it to Excel and run some line graphs on it to find out your spikes, your busy periods, your slow periods, your really good periods. Now, the, the last report that I'm going to show you today is the Member Details Report. And this is actually a combination of four different reports that you can access through here. And why I like this report is because if you think back to your Member Success Program, one of the things that we're taught in Member Success is that we should be doing what's called a gains exchange before each one-to-one -one that we do. And that means that you know, we're getting together for a one-to-one -one with people. What we should be taking that gains profile and sending it back and forth so that I can read more information about you before we sit down to meet, and you can read more information about me before we meet. That helps to really take the conversation to a new level. You tend to find out more information about people, and it opens up new topics of conversation. So you can get there by clicking on Member Details, and let's say I'm going to do a gains exchange. I can click on View Member Gains. I pick the person that I'm meeting with. So let's say somebody was going to be meeting with me, and click Go. Well, now they can read my gains profile. They can also click over and read my bio. They can also click over and read my tops and they could read my commercials as well. 
one other good reason for keeping your commercials in BNI Connect and for having this information available is, first of all, the commercials are visible on your profile. So other people that view your profile around the world, they can read your 60-second commercials. Now, there's 150,000 members in BNI. I can almost guarantee you that probably 149,852 of them will never come to your chapter meeting and hear you give a 60-second presentation. However, they can read your 60-second presentation. The other great thing about this is, and I'm sure this has never happened to you, but you realize at the last minute that you can't make your chapter meeting the next day. So you're able to call up a sub right away, but you don't have time to write out a 60-second. You can either jump into BNI Connect and copy and paste it, or you can ask one of your fellow chapter members, let's say you're nowhere near a computer, hey, do me a favor, can you log into BNI Connect for me and print out my commercial for my sub tomorrow? Both good uses for this report. So we are at the bottom of the hour, and I do want to make sure I respect everybody's time today. So if you do need to leave right away, I do want to thank everybody for being here on the call. Just a reminder that this is being recorded, so I'm also, again, willing to stay on this call to answer any questions, so please start typing your questions in now. But this call is being recorded along with all of the questions, and you'll be able to find that recording on youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. If you could also, go to facebook.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. This is our Facebook page for BNI Connect, and we do a whole bunch of you know, webinar reminders and tips and tricks and upgrade and release announcements. Uh, so please do go up there, give us a like, and follow us there for some reminders and testimonials and great ideas. A good referral for me is if you did get anything new and exciting and interesting out of this webinar today, please do go back to your chapters and let them know about these webinars. We do hold between 12 and 20 live webinars every single month. It's good for a couple of CEU credits, and it's also uh, good to get the knowledge out of my brain and into yours. So please direct them to the regional website, where in the calendar you'll find all these webinars, um, as well as the support site. They're all listed there. So I do want to entertain questions now. Do we have any questions? Uh, Angel asks, how often does this get updated? Um, I'm assuming you mean the POMS reports. So those get updated by your vice president of your chapter on a weekly basis. So as soon as they enter that material into BNI Connect uh, and they hit submit and they submit that weekly POMS report, all of those stats also get updated. So it's really dependent on your vice president entering that data into the system. Do we have any other questions? I'd love to answer those questions now. So Angel says, is there something else we can do to make it show better? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that um, as far as showing better. you mean for the functions that I know I know that you um, mentioned before that you didn't have access to some things yeah I mean as far as getting it updated uh, it's basically making sure that your vice president enters those details in a timely fashion so Sandy says can we print everything on one page for one to ones when I say print it just prints from the page that you're on um, yeah, unfortunately, because of the way that report is formatted, it does print it one page at a time. You could always create one Excel file out of it if you really wanted to um, by just going in and exporting this. You know, you could then export them and copy and paste each of those into this one Excel file and print it out that way. But yeah, unfortunately, because of the way this, this report pulls, it does pull it one at a time. So sorry about that, Sandy. I'd be happy to put that in as a suggestion. Uh, Heather says, this may be a bit off topic, but, and that's OK, you are always welcome to ask any questions you'd like to. When we make a recommendation for another member, can the world view this as part of the member's profile? I've had trouble finding where these go. So when you make a testimonial to another member, 
it only shows up on their members only portion of the site. So that's here within the logged in portion of BNI Connect. So on the members profile, so this is my particular members profile. So if you were to search for me and find me in BNI Connect, this is what you would see. And you'll notice that on my profile, there is a thumbs up tab. On this thumbs up tab is where you will find all of my testimonials. So these are all testimonials that other people have left for me, and you can find them all here. So to find other people in BNI Connect, so um, Heather, is there somebody that you've left a testimonial for that we can look up? But I could always look up you here, Heather Gladden. So I could look up your profile here and click on you. And if you had any testimonials, they would appear here on your testimonials tab. And the same thing for Craig Rice. So you said you've left one for Craig Rice. Now, Craig does have to accept the testimonial and show it as public. But if he has done that, then they would appear here on his thumbs up tab. And Heather, here is the testimonial that you left for Craig. Uh, Heather says, has it been considered to allow us to give permission to have that be public? Um, yes, that is something that is in consideration right now. Um, what we're working with is the legalities in a lot of the countries that we work with around the world. Um, if it's an automated process, then that could open up some you know, negative portals. Uh, so if somebody posted a negative testimonial on there and then all of a sudden it, it appeared automatically on the, on the public side of things, um, that could cause trouble for the member. So uh, we are working through how that process would work and the approval process and the publishing process, but it is definitely something that is being taken into consideration as well. Uh, Richard says, I recently joined BNI. How do I set up an account to BNI Connect? Uh, Richard, as soon as your paperwork is processed in the office, uh, you will be automatically sent an invitation to register in BNI Connect. Um, if you haven't received that yet, you can give your uh, regional office a call. Or feel free to, if you've gone through there and they're not responding or you haven't gotten that invitation, uh, you can, let me see if you are in the system yet. Oh, I think I spelled your name wrong here. You know, if it's been a couple of weeks or a month and it looks like you're in the system, so if you'd like to, you can always send an email to support at bniconnect.com and we'll be happy to reset your password for you and get you logged into the system. So support at bniconnect.com, and we'll be happy to uh, get that password reset. Do we have any other questions? I'd be happy to answer those questions. Uh, Angel says, can we send our regional director an email to fix things? And um, yes, that would be the best thing to do if you do have issues with the system or um, especially when it comes to permissions, things like resetting passwords, we can, we can help with that here at support. When it comes to permissions to certain functions and what's allowed, what's not allowed, that's really uh, regional processes and you have to go through your regional director for that one. And Angel, if you're not sure how to get in touch with them, Angel, what region, what area are you in? So you're in the Philadelphia region. So I believe your regional website is bnidvr.com. So Delaware Valley regions, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and if you'd like to get in touch with your regional office, you can find them all all the contact information here under the Contact Us page. 
And there's the phone number, and you can email them directly from there also. And that should help you get to the right people. Again, bnidvr.com, that is your regional website. And you can contact them through the Contact Us page here. Do we have any other questions? Any other questions at all? All right. Our very next webinar, if you'd like to join us, or please, a good referral for me would be to go back to your chapters and let them know about these, uh, is the chapter goals for leadership teams. So that's really establishing goals within BNI Connect that's really meant for leadership teams. The next member webinar is online slips, so how to enter online slips and use the referral tracking within BNI Connect. And that is on June 12th on Wednesday at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. You can register right through the support site or on your regional event calendar. So again, I'd like to thank everybody for being here today. Um, again, remember youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global and facebook.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. My name is Jeremy Walsh. I'm the Director of Support Training and Documentation. Happy connecting, everyone, and have a great day.